Okay, so good morning, Ben. Yeah, morning. welcome. Welcome to day two here on Tenerife. Um, you're doing the comments on the PWA website. So you, you have watched every single heat. Uh, what do you think? Who are the favorites here? What are the conditions like? Uh, I think, I mean, today's a little bit lighter. I think we were expecting a bit more wind. I think it's gone too far north, which is meaning the wind isn't coming through, but the forecast is still for a lot of wind. Yeah. And I don't think it changes things too much. I think if we get lighter winds like now, where you wouldn't be doing any jumping, just riding, maybe the, the smaller guys could sort of do a lot better. You know, maybe Mussolini, obviously, Traversa, they're quite, they're quite skinny and they get going pretty easy and yeah. they find it easy to ride. But I mean, the local guys, again, Mussolini's there, Danny Bruch. We've seen him pick up waves. Oh, I've seen him pick up waves. I think I'm on a monster and it just closes out. He picks up one that looks rubbish and it just opens up and, and he's rips, there yeah. spanking the hell yeah, out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. And 360, it's difficult. There's a lot of young guys here. We've seen Anton Martin selling really good yeah. in the in the you know early heats. He's only a young kid, but I've seen him pulling off 360s. But sailing good in the early heats doesn't mean you're going to do well in the competition. I mean, Ross Williams is a, an example of this. Before the comp, I seen him absolutely smashing out 360 after 360, and he got taken out in the, I'll just have a look at the sheet, second round by McKercher. Yeah. I mean, McKercher isn't seeded, ex-world champion, bit of a wild card. I, I, he, lo he loves those conditions here. I mean, yeah, apparently yeah. he is, uh, well, he's known for inventing the onshore wave ride yeah, here in Tenerife. Yeah, vertical cutbacks. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, Basically, they before on the World Cup, they always used to ride this place backside. So it would just yeah. be backside riding. Yeah, well, he yeah. came along and, pr and you know he basically taught them the onshore wave ride. He was the first guy to go frontside here, yeah, and yeah, this is I where remember. it was invented. So I, I mean, he's come through, and we haven't seen him for a bit. He's been off, and he's come back this year, and he's took out Ross Williams. It's, I mean, that was a pretty big upset. We've also yeah. had another big upset, Marcelio Brown. Uh, it went a bit light in his heat, and he's quite a big fella. Uh, and he got taken out by Omar Sanchez, another young guy. He's from Ten uh, from Gran Canaria. Gran Canaria yeah. uh, he sells really good, but you know, Marsilio didn't quite find the waves. He had backside threes, but it was just one move, and yeah, it and was he, he more looked under power. He looked under power as well. Yeah, right? it, dro it dropped off in his heat, yeah. to be fair. But Omar sold good as well. So yeah. combination of the two, and he's out, you know, waiting. Uh, who else? We, I think we had another upset. Yeah, John Sky went out to to Lampy. Uh, you know, Lampy's a good sailor. Yeah, Lampy was he's ripping very, us, so Yeah, I was going to say, he's very on yeah. and off, but yesterday's heat really put it together. Yeah, yeah. Skyboy snapped to mass doing a double, but Lampy had some solid waves. You know, he had backside three and then into some frontside turns, which I speak to the judges, that's what they want to see. They want to see yeah. linking turns. You can't just of do a course. backside 360. You have to right, do a backside 360 and, and yeah. then you have to do something. So, yeah, it's, it's there's a lot of people on there. We've seen Costa. We can't not mention him. Uh, he's absolutely ripping out there. He's got this yeah. backside air reverse thing, and he yeah. does that and straight into a front side. He's got like a front side 360, but he does it off any section. It's and, and sort of jumping yeah. somehow, some, with airtime included. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's ridiculous. So, I mean, yeah. him, Victor Fernandez as well. I think he got the highest scoring waiver yesterday. He was getting, uh, you know, nice front sides and front side air. Front side air here in Cabezo. I mean, it's doable, but it's not easy. You've it's really got to pick yeah. the waves. Uh, so yeah, I mean, okay. it's good. So, the end, we see there's, it's like there's different guys that are more dangerous here, like, like for example, in Pozo. No? Yeah. So it's like really different kind of winds, a bit more wave riding say, yeah. orientated, a bit less jumping. Today there was just one jump counting and two wave rides. Yeah. Uh, do you think this will continue like that? Uh, I think so. Uh, they forecasted for a lot of wind. I mean, I was expecting 45, 50 knots looking at the forecast. But yeah. like I say, it's too far north, so it's not coming through. But if it ever goes a bit more east, yeah. we're going to have some real big winds here and big jumping. So it could all spin so it around. But at the, change, yeah. at the moment, I think you're going to see Danny Bruce, Alex Mussolini, you know, Traversa, Cowley, you know, all these boys. Costa is obviously going to be there. Victor, Fern you're going to see the similar names up there. but. The local boys, you have to back them. You know, obviously Danny Bruce and Mussolini, yeah. I would say, are the, are the, are the full-time locals here, and they know the spot well. They know it well. Okay, Ben, so let's see what the day brings, yeah? Yeah. Uh, thanks for your help. No worries. All right. <laughs>